All right, everyone. So, got this thing back together, and uh, make sure we shut the door all the way. Got it back together. Seems to be running nice. Um, essentially, there's no like radiator fill up, so the way you purge these is you start them, let them warm up, run them around the block. Uh, well, put fluid in it, start it, leave the cap off, and try to pump it. It gets up to temp and sucks some stuff in there. But then it gets an air bubble, so you got to run around the block. And you got to do that like three or four times. Uh, but it only went one notch high. And from what I read online, that's common. It goes one notch high, and then um, I had no heat in the car. So there's just not enough in there yet. But it sucks because to run around the block, you got to put the cap on, and then it's pressurized. So um, now i got to wait for it to cool all the way down, add more fluid, and go and do it do it another couple times but it went up to the one notch this is just barely warm on the very bottom uh, but it went up one notch but before it was up one notch and then it was slowly climbing higher this one went up one notch stayed there the cooling fans were going when I came back which is a good sign that means they're working and that they're you know trying to cool the system there's just not enough fluid making its way through so no squeaks or nothing and it sounds a lot better um, maybe I'll start it up for you guys hoping that I can wash all the carpets and stuff this summer anyways so we'll see what the temp's at now it's been a minute so there it is it's right where it needs to be but it was right here and when I was driving it before, it was kind of getting up a little further than that. So, like I said, I don't have any heat. So, there's coolant in there. I'm sure there's coolant in that water pump because there was some residual in there along with, um, along with, uh, I, I put one full one of these and a half of water. So, I'll have to bring that water in. But it's a sealed bearing system, so I'm not worried about like the bearings and it burning out or nothing because it should be fine. But I don't see any leaks. I stopped before I left and I stopped when I came back and I looked under there and there is some fluid on the ground here. But I poured it on here and it kind of dripped off and before I left. So I'm thinking that's what this little blotch of fluid is because it kind of looks like it um splashed off on there that could also maybe be from my exhaust because like i said i had to idle it for a while and then it uh yeah and then it had to back up so that could be from my exhaust too i guess i time will tell but uh it would really suck if it leaked but i'm pretty sure i know i got all of my hoses tight i got everything tight i just uh i just got to make sure we're good it didn't smell like uh, any sort of burning oil, so that's a good sign. It always smelled like burning oil before, so hopefully that front uh, valve cover fixes it. I think uh, I think it will. So yeah, I just have to let this thing cool down for a few hours, come back out here and uh, repeat the process, and then drive it to work and stuff, and uh, and then it should uh, just burp out those bubbles naturally. And uh, they say you got to do it like maybe three times. So this was once. I'll do it again later, hopefully. And then um, one time after that should be it. But it sounds real good. And I'm excited to get it back on the road. I had to put all my nice shields back on. But we're going to wait and see. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, talk to you later.